The surge. Smallsy surgery. The surgery. This is Smallsy surgery. Oh hey, welcome to the podcast. Uh, I have been missing in action for the last couple of days. It was the flu, or was it COVID? Uh, the test computer says it wasn't, but felt like it could have been. Computer said no though. Uh, but anyway, back on deck. Uh, let's get back to the podcast uh, and catch up with the remaining cast members of the new number one movie in the world right now, Top Gun Maverick. Uh, it's the sequel to the 80s classic. Um, this time, caught up with the new recruits to the franchise. Uh, they are Glenn Powell. He plays the character of Hangman. Greg Tarzan Davis. He plays Coyote. And Fanboy. He's played by Danny Ramirez, and it was a fun chat, including how many times they blacked out while filming the movie. Let's roll the interview. We're going into combat on a level no living pilot's ever seen. Hey, it's Glenn Powell, actor, writer, producer. Say hello to Glenn Powell. Which one of y'all has what it takes to follow me? Boys, hello to you all. So what's up? What's up? Um, congratulations on a wild movie. I, I mean, I, I might go to you first. Uh, Glenn, your character is a little bit villain-esque in the movie. Um, I, I don't want... The, what's the truth? No, the, no, it, it stings. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just doing my best over here, guys. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> when they said, come to Top Gun, and you're like, a bucket list, but you might have to be somewhat the bad guy. Are you like, um, yes, no? Do you think twice about it? Or do you just go, you know what? In a movie with Tom Cruise, not going to say no. No, that's, uh, that's, a, that's a great question. I, I, I did debate on whether I should uh, do the movie at, mm. at a time, looking back on it. Um, what a silly debate that <laughs> was. Uh, but but I, um, you know, being being the villain, you know, uh, what, what people would consider that in a movie, it's like, yeah. you know, I don't consider this guy the villain. I consider him... Um, you know, a, a cocky pilot who's a little self-righteous and maybe has a, a character flaw of not being able to be a great wingman, which you can learn over the course of a movie. But I I do believe that, you know, he's a true hero. All these naval aviators mm-hmm. are true heroes. Uh, and so I'm really glad um, talking to Tom about what that character could be. I feel like it became more than just that. It became a guy that really represents uh, a type of pilot who flies different than a lot of other aviators. and. You know, who represents kind of the fun of the original Top Gun. I do mm-hmm. want to apologize. It, I did realize when I called you the villain, it's, it was unfair for me to say that your character was the villain. It was just <laughs> the, You're, not, you're, not, you're, not, you're I, not the first one right, to know. Yeah. It just... <laughs> You know, I think I'm just getting worn down. I'm feeling a little emotional. I'm feeling a little raw yeah, right now. You're an you audience know. member, and if that's what you take from it, then he's the daggone villain. Oh, <laughs> um, I want to go to Danny and Tarzan, to you boys. Uh, now, is this like a bucket list moment where you go, Tom Cruise, Top Gun sequel? I'm sure like most people who watched it growing up, when there's a chance to be in a movie with the great Tom Cruise, you just jump at it, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think without a doubt, when I, I saw it as a college sophomore and when I, I was just like, if there's ever a sequel and there's an opportunity for me to be a part of any part of the story, I would, I would jump at the chance. It just so happened that this one that we were actually practically going to go up on the planes and sh- you were shooting this practically and I was afraid of flying. So it was one of those things that uh, the opportunity to work with Tom Cruise trumped my fear of flying. Yeah. And I wouldn't take back my decision at all. Can I just have a show of hands? Who 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 there passed out? Did they put you through any like like four G, five G, like hard maneuvers where like the blood? I mean, we we uh, did we did seven eight G, so yeah. four five. Yeah, any day, I, I, any I, day I, I, I did not pass out, but I did see the needle. Like there's this thing where they say you, you, it closes, it closes, it closes, and it come, becomes like a pin needle. And I was fighting for dear life. I felt like at that point, like okay, <laughs> I, and no, but just just you, nobody else, everyone else's. You know, I oh, hold on, wait, wait, wait. No, don't, don't, don't isolate me on an island. Yeah, no, no, that's just, just, just you, just you. Loser. So, is that on the record? <laughs> Only you. Yeah. Oh, this, I mean, oh, this for the most part, no. Uh, yeah. No, we, we all, I gotta say, the, the amount of G's you're pulling in this airplane, mm. Everybody had had the tunnel. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, 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 I saw the tunnel in the extra three hundred when we yeah. were when we were building up our sustaining G's. So we'd do four G's at thirty seconds, five G's at thirty seconds, six G's at thirty seconds, and these spirals seven, and then these eight pops. Um, but I started seeing it when we would sustained. But then after a while, your body gets adapted to it. it. But I never got to see it on the F eighteen. So okay, I'm a little jealous because it's like I wish we all had the experience of passing out. Did anyone? Well, my particular scene where I had to do it. Oh, what are you? Huh? 
Spoilers. Wait, wait, wait. So what was your oh, question? Wait, no, what? no, it's okay. Well, I've, you didn't worry about spoilers. So I've seen. What is your question? Oh, okay. No, I was gonna. I was my follow-up question was gonna be, did any of you follow? No, it's okay. It's, it's, you, as if you can spoil the movie when you go in my scene where I flew the plane. Of course, it's a movie plane. Uh, it's a plane about movie. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say, did did any of you come out of the movie with a love of flying to the point where like you can be Tom Cruise and just go, hey, who wants a lift back up to LA? You, Glenn. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I, I've been I've been flying myself around around for a bit since I got my private pilot's license. So um, I'm not flying in as cool of toys as Thomas. Sure. Uh, mostly yes. because people aren't paying me the amount of money I need yeah. to buy an airplane. That's that's been just, a bummer. It's just an uh, issue, just a tiny issue, right? Yeah, a tiny issue, you know. But yeah, I, I have to give him rides everywhere in LA. He's yeah. Just <laughs> just, he doesn't afford yeah. Uber rides. I'm doing like a Uber <laughs> Cirrus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just giving a shuttle of them around. Um, no, it's been it. That's been an amazing thing on this movie. Is you know Tom's love of aviation is so. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, it's so contagious. You know the way he would even leave set, he would. Go, hey guys, you know, see you guys tomorrow and take off in a P 51 into the sunset. It's and iconic. He just makes it look so, iconic. He's iconic. He is Maverick. So I, I think uh, it's impossible to not um, develop a love for aviation and want to pick it up when you see and make it look so cool. I am being hard wrapped, so I have to say thank you, boys. But I also wanted to say congratulations to you being part of, a, all three of you, being part of a movie that has, I have not seen a movie look so, look and feel so real and for such a long time. And it's exactly what everybody needs as we're getting back to life and getting back to normal. So congrats on that. Thank, thank you so you, much. That's, thank you. Take it easy. Small Z Surgery is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.